I'm standing in the heart of Berkeley's gourmet ghetto, surrounded by a plethora of sumptuous foods. This truly is a food mecca, being the home of the original Pete's Coffee and Tea, the Cheeseboard Collective, and Chez Panisse Restaurant, which is considered to be the birthplace of California cuisine. The Gourmet Ghetto is a neighborhood in North Berkeley, located about a mile from the UC Berkeley campus. Since the 1970s, it's been known for the high concentration of gourmet food establishments. Recently, the area has become known for the use of organic, locally sourced ingredients. Chez Panisse opened in 1971, and Alice Waters opened it as a restaurant where people could come as if they were coming to a dinner party, where someone made food and everyone ate the same meal. You know, a place that really started as a group of friends, and the idea that you would gather a place where you would have things of the day and for the day. Every single ingredient that we put out, or we cook with, or we have is organic. Find the best ingredient. Then you do as little it's not as little as possible because it's actually high labor work, but you don't put too many things in there. Slow cooked salmon right here, which mm. I put some baked in a fig leaf, um, and these marinated beets, plus scoops of avocado and anise salad. The Cheese Board opened as a small cheese shop in 1967, and it was one of the first gourmet establishments in the area. They have the cheese and bread side and the pizza side. How many different kinds of cheeses do you have? They're somewhere between 300 and 400. On the pizza side, they serve a different kind of vegetarian pizza each day. Why do you think all these people come? Why do you have a line out the door down the street? Uh, well, first I think is the product, and it goes with the season, you know, whatever's in season. If it was just the pizza, it wouldn't be enough. It has to do the music, the community, the, you know, the community table. Our next stop is the Juice Bar Collective. Back in 1976, when the Juice Bar started, it was a really unique idea. It's called the Juice Bar, but it's obviously not all we do. I kind of always talk about our hot food as like vegetarian comfort food. You know, mm. we've got the back meat polenta and the lasagna. Another recent institution in the Gourmet Ghetto is Grégoire. They use traditional French cooking techniques for carry-out food. They're specifically known for their potato puffs. And so they're potatoes. So what happens after they get extruded? Uh, it's really a secret process that I'm not allowed okay. to tell you. Okay, you'd have to kill me if you, if you told me about it. Mm, it's like it melts in your mouth. Growing up in Berkeley, the Gourmet Ghetto was my food mecca. And I hope you've enjoyed traveling through it with me today.